Hello, Kimi Hinto. Welcome back to another video. And uh, Bandai Namco threw out a lot of interesting things regarding Jump Force today. Uh, the first one was that Seto Kaiba was going to be the first DLC. They didn't outright say it, but by the way they mentioned Seto Kaiba in the tweet, because they were talking about he will soon do X, Y, and C. So I was like, okay, he's going to be the first DLC. And then what confirmed it was a 2019 update schedule that they threw out on Twitter. And this update schedule goes all the way until from April all the way until August, okay? And there was something that bothered me about this update schedule, and it was that specifically, there's not a single talk about gameplay changes or polishing up the gameplay itself or anything like that. It was just simply talking about the stuff that they were gonna add into the game as the months roll by. So for the first month, we have April, right? And it's a free update. You don't have to pay a single dime or anything like that in order to get it. You get the clan feature, which some people might be excited about. I have seen a lot of people that just enjoy the idea of a clan feature in these kind of games. But I can tell you right off the gate, just from what I can see, it's not going to be anything great. It's not going to be anything crazy. So it's just whatever for me. A Vertex event, I don't know what that is. And then new avatar costumes. Now, new avatar costumes is something you're going to hear a lot throughout this video because it's literally in every month, this update schedule that they have. And uh, I just really don't care because I don't use CACs. Now for May, we have interesting stuff here, not just because there's paid DLC, but because they're gonna add a new stage, which is the world tournament stage. And the idea of them adding new stages like makes me very, very happy because I'm tired of the current stages we have in Jump Force. Mind you, this game's been out for almost a month I mean, it's March 14th right now, so we're like four hours away from it being officially a month since the game has released. And already I'm tired of just about every map that's in the game because it's not enough, okay? Now, let's talk about this though. Let's break it down little by little. Then we have the paid DLC, which includes Seto Kaiba plus two other playable characters. I can already tell you, uh, in my personal opinion, those two playable characters will include All Might and uh, Bisky. That's what I believe. I believe All Might from My Hero Academia is going to be the second one, and Bisky from Hunter x Hunter is going to be the third one. But that's just a guess. Uh, you guys can make your own conclusions if you want. And it says here, plus Avatar Customs and Skills. So obviously, if you don't buy the DLC, you can't use the skills, okay? Because I, I guess that's how they wanted to frame it. If you want to use the skills for your CAC, you got to pay for it. You know, and if you want the characters, you obviously have to pay for that. So you can't really just get the characters without needing to buy the skills. And you can't buy the skills without having to get the characters. So, eh, I mean, it makes sense, I suppose, right? Because the skills are most likely going to be the skills of the paid characters. So I can understand why that is. Now, for the online link mission, um, I don't know what that is. Nor do I care, to be honest, because like, I'm going to be 100% with you guys. I play Jump Force just for the multiplayer uh, battles. That's it. I don't go and do like online events, online quests, none of that stuff. Then we have a uh, raid boss event, okay? Now, for the raid boss event, I can already tell you what's going to happen. They're going to just give you some kind of weird gear for your CAC just so you can prove to people that you... You know, you just show it off, right? For those of you that don't actually bother to try out the raid event and don't get the, the little gear for your CAC, that's just what it is. It's just, hey, you know, bragging rights, but I don't really care. Uh, like I said before, I don't really mess with CACs like that. So none of this stuff, like, really interests me, aside from the paid DLC and the new stage, of course. Now, we have a uh, June update that's going to be for free. And June seems very mundane. I will tell you right now, June is very mundane. It's a free update with an arena event, new avatar costumes. Pretty whatever, okay? July, free update, tournament event, new avatar costumes. If you guys can notice, so far, it's just been avatar costumes. Uh, like, like, that's the one thing that's very, very prominent in each month. Now, for August, I'm actually hyped about August because we get more paid DLC, and it says three new playable characters which have not been announced. We don't know which three playable characters it would be. But it also says plus avatar costumes slash skills. Okay, so same thing as I said in May. Just apply it to August, okay? Now, in the free update, because there's paid DLC. And then there's a free update that's for everybody. Regardless of whether you get the new paid DLC or not. 
is the new avatar costumes again and a new stage valley of the end i like that i like the addition of stages like i said before i'm glad that they're doing this but overall let me just give you guys my thoughts on this okay there's not a single mention not a single bullet point about gameplay changes about new game modes about new features being added that should have been in the game none of that and I don't want to give, uh, you know, the people over at Bandit and Ankle shit or anything like that. That's not what I'm trying to do, okay? The, my point is that, you know, this game has a lot of things that are missing that the community has complained about for the entire month that this game's been out. And the fact that they came out with a 2019 update schedule, yet not a single one talks about updating the gameplay mechanics or just fixing things up, it makes me a little bit sad, okay? Now, it could very well be that these free updates will come with uh, patches for certain moves and the gameplay itself. It could happen. But the fact that they didn't even bother to mention that here kind of, like, bothers me a little bit. It makes me a little bit uneasy because, um, like, that's the big thing that people want, right? Like, yeah, the paid DLC is cool. The new stages are cool. I'm pretty sure those people that like to mess around with CACs, uh, love the avatar costumes they're going to be getting every month. But the reality is, I don't see any balancing, like, at all. Like, it's almost as if they don't care for that. I mean, at least right now, as I see this uh, update schedule. And that's very worrisome, because I do want this game to succeed, like I said before. I mean, sales-wise, I'm pretty sure it blew it out of the water. That I'm pretty sure that, like, sales-wise, they're pretty good, they're pretty comfortable. But I just want to see this game improve over time. I don't want it to be like, okay, it's the same game that you played when you first bought it. And granted, they've done updates before. They patched a few things that were very, very annoying. But it's not enough, you know? So, just to leave it here. Uh, again, I'm very, very hyped about the new stages. I'm very hyped about the paid DLC. I'm just not that excited for the fact that there's nothing else aside from that. You know, the, the month of August and May are the only months I'm actually looking forward to stuff. But that's just me. Anyways, guys, I'm out. Peace.